Okay, um, in the class, this is what we did. Um, first thing you're going to do is come up here to box, and you're going to create a, the back of your couch. You're going to pull it up. You're going to create another box. You'll start it at the base of your couch down here, and you'll go to the end of the couch here. Pull it out. Oh, I kind of did it too soon. So we will do it again. We'll put it right here at the base of the couch. And I will put it out about maybe that far. We'll go up. And now that's our couch. Okay. We can also create the cylinders. Small cylinders to put on our couch. If we wanted to make another one of these, we can simply right mouse click and we could tell it to clone, make a copy, tell it OK. And then we could come up here to the move and we can move that copy. OK. Now remember when we wanted to go ahead and steal the vertices like what we did for our name, we making, we'll be making some boxes. OK. So what we'll do now is we will click, uh, we'll go ahead and click this couch here. Um, now we're going to come over here and we're going to select compound objects. We're going to select our, our seat part of our couch right here. And then we're going to go to Probeline. And then we're going to go over here to Pick. And we're going to click one of these squares. The reason why we're clicking the squares is we're stealing the vertices to make more vertices on this couch. Because we want to curve the edges. Then after we've done that, and we have to do this for each one, go to advance and we make quadrilaterals. And you see now that we have all these vertices. Okay, so now we can... Oops, I stole that one and added more to this base, and we don't want to do that. So next, we're going to come over here, and we are going to click the back, and we're going to do probylene again, and we're going to do start picking, and this time we're going to pick this square. Then we will go down to options, and we will tell it make quadrilateral. And you can see that it made multiple vertices as well. We don't need to do this to the cylinders because on their own, they have enough vertices. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to place these on our couch. Okay. If we want to rotate them, we would simply just rotate them using the red one. And we're just going to lay them kind of flat, basically. Okay. And we're going to do the same with this one. We're going to try to lay him flat as well. Then we will move them by using the move. We're going to grab him and raise him up. And then we will pull him over to the couch. And we're going to pull him a little bit more this way. And then put him back to where he's back over there to the couch. And we want to make it to where he is just about in the couch, but not quite. Oops. Wrong one. We want to make sure we have him actually on the couch itself. When we see him start disappearing in the couch, we know we've got him on there. We could also identify all of this by the height that we have with the bottom where it has the X and the Y. Sorry, I keep clicking the wrong thing. So now we're going to move him back and I'm just playing around with him a little bit. So now we can see that he disappears in the couch. We can move him over here. Now if we decided we didn't want to have to deal with all of that moving like what we did before, we could erase that one, and we can right mouse click, and we can say clone, tell it copy, 
then we can say let's just move this copy um, I don't want to move it just as a random move I want to make sure I'm moving with the proper X and the Y so now we have our couch with our two little in cushion things now we can come over here and we can go to our modifier list let's go ahead and select something go to our modifier list and we are going to do mesh smooth and you see it went smooth now we will click here and we will do our modifier list again and we will make sure and do mesh smooth and we can do the same with our circles or our cylinders so to speak let's find uh, mesh smooth and you can see that they turn into soft little kind of pillows um, and then we could come over here and do mesh smooth again now one other thing that we've learned also is that we can come up here and this is our material editor we can use this to change the material of our couch the mode when you look at modes this will let you know whether or not you want this custom compact mode or whether or not you want the slate mode the slate mode is a really big huge bulky one but the slate will give you more detailed okay so these are the picks the standards up here so we can come over here and we can choose uh, architecture if we wanted to okay then we could come over here and choose compound now and now we're in the architecture design okay and we can come over here and we can look at the different kinds that we have and now we can just choose different types of wood different types of paints plastics things like that if we wanted to um, we can also come over here and we can choose our default whichever one we want as default okay we could select a template which is a glossy color so we could go ahead I could do ceramic tiles okay and I could go ahead and change the color of my ceramic tile right here to another color let's go ahead and uh, change it to a blue okay so we can see that that's nice and pretty okay so then we do okay now we just simply drag and drop and drag and drop and then we can drag and drop it again to each thing now in order to get to see this and go ahead and close the material we would want to hit the shift and the Q key and this is where it will show us what it's rendered okay what the rendered looks like okay it's a rough render until you actually put it out there really well you can show it as low or as high quality okay now we can come over and we can also use the editor and we could change the design again we can come in and just make it look like brushed metal if we wanted to and then we could come over here and just make it well actually it, it turned into brushed metal or we can come over here uh, change the colors we can change it to metallic paint now okay and then we could come over here and see what it looks like do the shift and the Q now we can see that it's really shiny metallic paint okay on here it doesn't show it but on here it does now uh, one other thing that we learned in the class as well is we came over here and we wanted to do basic shapes go back to standard primitives and we're going to do a box this time we're going to do a box that is kind of a thin walled one but it's kind of tall okay we may try to do another box here and then maybe another box over here kind of like speakers we'll pretend that this is our TV 
and these are our speakers. Okay, so for this box, we can go ahead and change it. Okay, and it changed the color. All right, let's see if we can change the next box. Okay, we will just change it to that color. And then, of course, we can come over here and change our TV to a totally different color. Okay, now one other thing that we learned as well is we came over here to lighting. Okay, <clears throat> if we wanted lighting in here, we could go ahead and put a target light. When this comes up, go ahead and say yes. And let's put a, a light in here. We're going to put it to where it points right here. If we wanted to move our light, we could add more light to it if we wanted to. And then if we decided, well, we really don't want our light there. Let's go ahead and we will move the light over here. And then we go ahead. Let's say we want to move the light here. And then move it up pretty high. Okay. And so then, now that we have that, let's look and see what the light looks like. So we do the shift and the Q. <clears throat> and we can see now in our render that we have a reflective light coming from this area here. We can't tell on the ground anything because there is no ground. Okay. It is nothingness. So what we're going to do now is let's go back and let's draw a box which would actually be our floor here okay and we'll do a little small floor probably about so big and now if we do our render let's just see what it looks like now you can see the shadowing of everything there we can see that the spotlights are pointing from over here Pointing, we can see the shadow of the couch here, shadow of this box, this box, and even that box. And you can move around the lights and do different types of lighting. Okay. Now, if you were to do the control and the C, it would put us in camera mode. Okay. And then you could actually put your camera in the scene. Okay. You could put your camera here. To where it would record your scene from this angle here. Okay, we can do a shift, control again, and our camera would be filming from this angle over here. Okay, so your job is to recreate everything that I created here and then send me the file when you're done. Okay, so follow the steps and uh, that will be your lesson for this module.